Hi, um, I just want to talk about something. I, me, I have <clears throat> Berlin Syndrome Dyslexia. Some people argue that it's not a form of dyslexia, but I personally think that it is. Basically, what this is, is it, I don't know if it depends on what eye, but one, usually one of the eyes works faster than the other. Because one, like, reads and one, because they have to work together. They have to work together at the same time so you can process and see and everything. But they, when you have ruins, they don't. Um, so, what this causes is, like, especially for me, I will see flashing lights all over the page. No matter, like, if I read, like, I'll just see flashing lights every single time. Um, and also, sometimes the words will, like, kind of, like, it looks like it will wash away. And if I turn on the computer, they'll start to make a circle. Um, they'll move. I will mix up words from different lines and put them in one sentence. I will lose my place. Yeah, lines will merge together all the time. I'll forget what line I'm in. I'll skip a line. Um, I am, it's pretty mild with me. It's like medium maybe. But sometimes when it's really bad, you can't like, you'll f like forget faces. And I'm, I think that has happened before. Like with me, sometimes I'm just be like, I read, but like you won't be able to like memorize a face it'll be, it's kind of like blurry and I've experienced that before, it's really scary but um yeah, so um I have been to two eye doctors I think, an optometrist and they both told me, and they all told me oh no, you're fine, there's nothing wrong and that was like the first time I was like, okay, because I had been looking looking it up because it was so frustrating, and I was like, I have to, you know, figure out what this is, and I was, I didn't know about Berlin's yet, I was looking at dyslexia, and, um, most of the symptoms fit, because they are pretty similar when it comes to reading, but it's different, but I was like, yeah, that does seem really familiar, but, um, so yeah, and oh, also when I read um like if I read without one of these which is an overlay it's actually not a professional overlay but it like it works what it does is when I eat without it like if I read anything I can't remember it because what your eyes are doing and what your brain is doing is focusing on the act of reading and not like your brain isn't, like, what I notice is I don't read in, like, context. Like, it doesn't go in my brain, it's just words. So, your brain is, like, trying so hard to read that it's just not processing what the words are, just processing the shapes of the words. So, that's really frustrating. But yeah, back to, um, and I was getting, I talked to my mom about it, and I was getting really frustrated about it. And she's like, no, 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 you're fine. And then we went to another do eye doctor, and he was like, no, you don't have, you're not dyslexic. I was super duper frustrated and yeah so nothing really I was just so annoyed and I kind of said with that that it's just in my head and I don't, I'm not dyslexic there's nothing wrong it was so frustrating and then recently I brought it up again and I was talking I'm like this is so frustrating I can't I can't do this anymore and so we went to an optometrist and they um, charged a lot of money and they just, like, looked in my eyes and dilated on people's, which is so annoying. But they just, like, looked at my eyes and said, oh, your eyes are perfectly healthy. There's nothing wrong. I'm like, well, thank you. I know my eyes are healthy. But, like, until my mom was starting to get frustrated because she was like, you know, we've been to different eye doctors and I know her eyes are healthy. It's not, it's not her eyes. It's a problem. So, and then we went home and I just sat on the couch and I just cried. Because I, did, I had no idea what to do. Because I didn't know what was up. I didn't know what was going on with me. I thought it was going insane. I thought it was all in my head. And then um, it lasted a couple days. And what I did is I did a little more research about it. About regular dyslexia. And I wrote down the symptoms that I had in a book. And I don't have the book with me right now. But that's kind of a cool thing that I still have. Like my, what my symptoms are. 
so I brought to, um, me and my mom were talking about it, and she was like, you know, you're fine. I'm like, well, I don't feel fine, obviously. Um, and so she was doing research, and she said, now they can marry. And so she found her, the Erlen's website, and basically looked at my symptoms, and every single one fit. And we took a little test, and it all fit. And it was, it was like, it was so relieving, but, um... So after that, I was, like, so happy that, you know, I figured out what was going on. And so, um, but then one day I woke up and I was just like, why can't I just be normal, you know? Why can't I be like everybody else? I know this is such a common thing, but seriously, why, I shouldn't know why I couldn't be normal. I was, like, so upset. But, you know, and then today, I was just got, I had, like, this breakdown. I was so upset because it was just so frustrating. I had to come up here and read all by myself because I can't focus when there's any slight bit of sound. I have to read natural light, and so basically, if you have any of those symptoms, um, talk to someone about it. Even if they deny it, like, oh no, it's all in your head, because it's not. So, just and if you have Erlen's, it's really good to get to go to the Erlen's website, you know. Just talk about it, and also to um, help other people who have it, or who think that they have it. Because my mom is, we are, my, like, my little brother have it, obviously, he's a, he has it really bad, especially with, like, writing. But my mom was talking about, she probably has it, and oh yeah, dyslexia is genetic. So, if you have any of the symptoms, just definitely do your research. Because I did my research about regular dyslexia. I didn't really find anything. I found the symptoms that I had. So that was, it was really helpful. But once you found Erlen's, I was just like, you know, this is making so much more sense. So I'm going to, I'm going to finish up a fast book. What helps is these colored overlays. This is my really, like, new in my head that I had it when these really help. This is, this is a school folder thing. But I put this over paper and it helps so much. There's, like, contrast. You can't focus. Um, but also, um, they have glasses. I'm getting one just put in my, I have reading glasses because that whole, I got reading glasses a second time that I went to the doctor and it didn't help at all. But I'm getting pink lenses put in because pink helps my eyes and the colors are different for everybody. It's for me, it is yellow and pink. So it could be different for you. Do your research and never, don't ever, ever, don't give up. No, it sounds so cliche, but don't give it. Okay.